Well, good morning, everybody. And a change of plans, we're heading towards Miami. As you can see, these buildings right here is where the inlet is. Uh, we got a medical emergency, so we're heading back to Miami. Right can over here. I wonder if we can see some of the ships. And uh, it's too many buildings. Yeah, maybe you can see a few in there. So yeah, heading back to Miami for a medical emergency. Quickly, quickly approaching uh, Miami. I don't believe we're going to go into the port. I believe the captain said we're going to stay offshore and transfer the passenger to the Miami Fire Rescue. Uh, so hopefully everything goes okay. Uh, you know, prayers up for the passenger that needs to be disembarked. Hopefully everything turns out all right. Um, but we are slowly, or not slowly, we're quickly making our approach to uh, Miami. Ship is cursed, man. It is. Maybe you're cursed. Could be. I was convinced my family was cursed at one point on Royal Caribbean. Man. Well, it seems that we are turning port side now, but I don't see. Hold on. I gotta zoom over here. That's the channel right there. I don't see the fireboat coming out yet. Any of you see it? Maybe that? Nah. No, I don't see it. Weird. We came to this side to see if the fire boat was over here, but it's not. So, we're still waiting, but we slowed down a lot. So, it should be coming out soon. Fine. Alright, there's the fire boat. Full speed ahead towards Freedom of the Seas. We've just about come almost to a complete stop, so should be over here shortly. We're now using our bow thrusters to calm the water a little bit on the starboard side to allow the fire boat to come alongside and transfer the passenger. to see. We got a sea day today, so no big deal that we had to come a little close to Miami. <laughs> Breakfast time. Can't wait. Getting like a bunch of hash browns. We have successfully passed the Washi Washi station. Time to grab some breakfast. Breakfast time number two aboard Freedom of the Seas. Where did Brandon go? Finished breakfast. Now we're gonna head back to the cabin and charge our stuff and kind of get ready for the day. Back on the balcony now, and you can see we're moving very, very slowly. You can still see Miami. And if I zoom in, you just give me a second. Yeah, so right, right in the middle of the screen is the Oasis of the Seas. Then right there, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but that's the Norwegian Encore. Then you have the MSC Seascape. And over here, you can see the, the top of the celebration. And then behind her, you can see uh, either Scarlet Lady or Valiant Lady. 
I didn't check to see which one, but it's one of the Virgin ships, so you can see how close we are to land still. We seem to be turning south a little bit. I wonder what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Um, we're supposed to be at sea today, so no big deal, but I'm hoping we kind of stay around here. That way, later in the day, we can see all the cruise ships coming out of the port. That'd be pretty sick. After the morning that we had, when we finally got showered and had breakfast and went out for a little bit, we're going to begin our walk around the ship. That's what you do on a sea day. It is an absolutely gorgeous day in the... Caribbean, Bahamas? Nope, neither of those. Off the coast of Florida. So we're just, we're going, we're moving, but we're going really slow. I'm not sure what the captain has got in store for us in terms of moving around the, this area. Hopefully we don't go too far because we'd love to see the departures from uh, Fort Lauderdale and Miami coming out. I'm sure we'll see them eventually, but you know, it'd be better to be closer to land. walking around the pool deck now. Brandon got some uh, um, chips from El Loco Fresh. So we're just walking around looking for a table and then we're just gonna keep walking around and do regular cruise stuff. Back in the cabin and on the balcony after booking Harmony of the Seas for September, and I just noticed we had come to a complete stop. For proof, you can look right down here and see that we're not moving. Interesting, I wonder what's going on. We're just sitting here. Pizza time again, uh, whatever ship we're on, Freedom of the Seas. <laughs> I asked for two chocolate chip cookies, I got three maybe, who knows, look at that. I'm a lucky kind of guy. That looks like a butt. It is a butt. <laughs> it's a chocolate chip cookie butt. Like I said, we stopped a couple hours ago and you can still see, I don't know if it's gonna come out, you can still see the horizon of Miami. The, the skyline of Miami on the horizon. Pretty cool, right? We're just sitting out here. to see but there's little shadows on the horizon there's one right there that's the celebration and there's another one right there that's the horizon I will zoom in horizon that's the horizon on the horizon and if it focuses and the celebration both heading out of Miami goodbye beyond and regal princess sailing super close they're both going to their private island or no, Beyond is going to Nassau, but Regal is going to her private island. So they're kind of just cruising together. Just enjoying a free dinner snack from El Loco Fresh. And we got a nice little chair by the kids area overlooking the Viking Crown Lounge. Pretty cool. Unbelievable. Do we have 13 ships all at the same time? Something like that. So 
Chelsea, New Amsterdam out there, and we're going to go grab some dinner real quick before the Reflection, Harmony, and Oasis pass by us. So we're going to go grab uh, some food real quick in the Windjammer. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be a first. They have chicken nuggets. I might eat 50 of them right now. Especially with a view like this, I might eat 100, 1,000. She's just passing by. She looks pretty good. I'm, I'm super hyped to get on board her in, in like September. In, what? The monkey said, I hope you had a great cruise. Well, monkey, we did. We really did. Thank you, monkey. Back in the cabin now after watching all the ships leaving Fort Lauderdale pass us. And uh, you can't see it. Oasis is out there somewhere. We're just in the cabin right now, we're gonna hang out, maybe pack, I might hop in the shower, and then we'll kind of see what the night has for us. Huh. You guys probably won't be able to see it, but we, uh, we started moving again after several hours of not moving, so whether we go straight back to Miami or continue sailing around for a few hours is unknown, but we're underway again. One last stroll around the top deck for tonight. Then we're gonna go to bed, and unfortunately, we're gonna be back in Miami tomorrow. Disgusting.
that's going to do it for day three of our Freedom of the Seas cruise. Um, we're heading back to Miami now very slowly. We should be with the pilot around 6.30 and then at some point we'll be into the channel. Then we're going to get off and go home. So I guess, ugh, can't even speak. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos and we'll see you tomorrow back in Miami.